Imagine what mornings would be like if we didn't have to pack a lunchbox every day. Ivy Baker knows how to pack her lunch. She's one of millions of Australian kids who take a lunchbox to school every day. Last year, the Tasmanian Canteen Association trialled ditching the packed lunch at three schools. For 20 days, up to 120 kids at each school were given lunch, a main course and something on the side. I should say, though, that the groundsman was very happy during that um, 20 days because there was less rubbish. That wasn't the only benefit. Teachers reported better behaviour and attendance among students. Because they hadn't had a big sugar rush from the foods that they would normally eat, uh, they were definitely more settled after lunch. Parents also reported calmer mornings and blossoming tastes. Parents of fussy eaters said that they really liked how their child was eating foods that they'd never try at home. The Menzies Institute for Medical Research was asked to see if it worked. Interviews with teachers and canteen managers yielded strong support. And they said they absolutely loved seeing the looks on the children's faces when they were giving the meals out. Um, they also said it was a lot easier than what they thought it was going to be. The kids were largely on board, despite vegetables being compulsory. <laughs> Would you like some salad? Oh, no, thank you. So the spaghetti bolognese, there was onions, carrots, zucchini, um, spinach, there was mushrooms, there was a whole lot of vegetables in the meat, main meat meals. And that was the favourite? And that was the favourite. The average cost per child was $4.70 a day, although one school got it down to $3. The pilot did present some challenges. For the program to be rolled out permanently, schools would need to invest in better kitchen equipment, including larger ovens and a commercial dishwasher. They'd also need to have space for dining and more staff or volunteers to make and serve the food. Both major political parties took a school lunch policy to the election. Labor offered to dish it up en masse. It's not just about the poor kids getting fed lunch, it's actually everybody gets fed lunch. The Liberals pledged a bigger trial, but seemed to rule out taking the next step. I wouldn't expect my kids in a public school to, um, to have uh, lunch provided for them. The school lunch pilot is expected to expand to 30 Tasmanian schools next year.